She believes that BPA provides students the opportunity to discover talents and skills that will be of value to them throughout life. Ms. Martin, I present this plaque to honor your service and dedication to Ohio BPA, as well as to Region 11 and Ohio Association's 8,000 members. Thank you. Because I believe in the mission and principles of business professionals of America, I am truly humbled today to receive this honor from this fantastic organization. I would like to thank Ohio BPA, Mrs. Trent, the state officers, and the SEAC board for selecting me. It was a pleasure to serve on the SEAC board for many years. And as a representative and advisor, I too was very appreciative of Mrs. Trent and her exceptional support and dedication. I would also like to thank my region, Region 11, and Representative Chris Duran for nominating me and for all the advisors, friendship and camaraderie over many years. It was a blessing to work with teachers who sacrificed so much time for their children and their students. I am grateful to have worked for a school, the Trumbull Career and Technical Center, who recognized the value of BPA and encouraged our youth club activities. The administrators always found a way of saying yes when it came to BPA. To all my former students, I thank you for providing me years of wonderful memories. And finally, I'd like to thank my family for their unwavering support. I am very happy to have my husband, Kevin, and my sister, Christine, Libby with me today. Based on my belief in the value of this organization, I think my former students would most likely agree that I encourage them to become involved in everything BPA had to offer from competitive events to torch awards and every conference in between. So when I was notified that I was receiving this award, it brought back a lot of those fond memories. I recalled a long school bus ride home on a cold November night after fall leadership conference and watching my students bond with new classmates while singing old Motown songs. I recalled seeing the excitement of a student acquiring the coveted Alaska pin at National Leadership Conference, the most sought after trading pin. And I remembered the National Conference in Anaheim in 2010, the first time BPA broadcast the awards live. While on stage taking the third place prize for web team, my students were reaching in their pockets for their cell phones, and I realized that they were getting text messages from their parents who were so proud of them and were, for the first time, able to share that experience in real time. So I reflected on the reasons why I valued our BPA activities as much as the classroom content I was teaching. And I concluded, perhaps a little selfishly, that it was from the inspiration and satisfaction I received from witnessing my students gain valuable lessons that they might not have otherwise. I was always amazed at their growth and transformation, and I would just like to briefly share a few of those life lessons that I believe BPA instills in you. Through competitive events, I saw students take risks to try something new. Sometimes that included a little coaxing and pushing on my part, but once they dove into that event, I saw them work toward a goal discover that problems can actually be learning experiences and that pride comes from the success of your own hard work and not something that's necessarily handed to you. Through Special Olympics and community service, I saw students quickly realize they weren't always the center of the universe. They did find that there was joy in giving and they found that they could make a difference, big or small, in someone else's life. After the excitement of an election, I was always eager to see how long it took for the new officers to learn exactly what it meant to be true leaders and mentors. They soon discovered that the best leaders had to serve their members and that there's a lot of sacrifice after that oath of office. But they discovered that through their accomplishments, they gained confidence that would be valuable to them forever. And finally, through attending BPA conferences, 
I saw students gain a whole new view of the world when someone from a small town in Northeast Ohio can stay in a beautiful hotel in Columbus or to travel to Texas or to Nevada or to California, they are acquiring life experiences that help shape the perspective of the world. Nothing can replace a look on a student's face when they come from tiny Bristolville, Ohio, and they take their first plane trip to California and land in LAX airport for the first time. It doesn't take them long to realize they're a long way from Bristolville. But the most important advantage of these conferences were the friendships gained. Often when I run into former students, the first thing they bring up are their memories from these trips and the many friends they still keep in contact with. So I would like to conclude my comments by congratulating you for being those students that are willing to take a risk, to work hard, and to get involved. I hope you continue to take advantage of everything, everything BPA offers and realize the success and rewards of your time and effort. Good luck today, and thank you for making me a member for life. I will cherish it. God bless. Third place in Fundamental Spreadsheet Application, Technical Center. Our second place winner, Donald Lovejoy. And first place for 2015, Jessica Martin Talmadge High School. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate your state winners in Fundamental Spreadsheet Application. Here is our third place winner in Digital Media Production, Pedro Bloco, Colorado High School, Butler Tech. Our second place winner, Caleb Schooley, Eastland Career Center. And first place for 2015, Alexander. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's congratulate our award winners in digital media production. Here is our third place state winner, Zachary Allen, trumpet <laughs> Second place. Here is our third place state winner, third place, Eastland Career Center. <laughs> our second place state winner, Northwest High School Valley <laughs> Place state winner, South Galia High School. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my script here says, uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, I messed up here. I messed up here. Everybody get back on the stage. There were three on one page, but I didn't turn the page. Everybody get back on stage. We're going to redo this again. I'm sorry to scare you and excite you, but that was my mistake. An answer mistake. Um, I, I called the wrong, wrong names. I was reading the last three that we called up to the stage from that page. My bad. Everybody get back in position here. We're going to call the third and second and first over again. I apologize for that. Third place is actually Northwest High School, Butler Tech. Northwest High School, Butler Tech is third place. Third place, Northwest High School, Butler Tech. Second place, Trumbull Career Tech Center. Trumbull Career Tech Center, second place. And your first place state winner in video production team event, Clay High School. Clay High School won first place in video production. 
I apologize to the teams I called earlier. Uh, that was just my mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulate all of your winners in video production team. Here is our third place state winner in computer animation team. Medina County Career Center. Our second place state winner, Knox County Career Center. And our first place state winner, Trumbull Career Center. Ladies and gentlemen, let's congratulate our winners in computer animation team. Yeah! The next event.